and tripping the line almost was one of the pole cars getting away. Peter Brock, a magnificent start up on the outside. Just watch Brocky go and Seaton will move into third spot. Longhurst, a brilliant start. Johnson, a very, very poor start. And Klaus Niedzvitz is at least through the first turn. Look at the traffic and they head up Mountain Straight for the first time. Going beneath the Corolla sign, the bridge halfway along Mountain Straight. And here they come. The jockeying for positions now. Up to the right-hander at Repco. As they exit that turn and now make their way up Mountain Straight towards BP Cutting. Percy going through, Crompton going through, Neatsfits in front, Brock second, Seaton, then followed by Longhurst, then the second of the ANZ cars. George Fury, a great start, and Colin Bond just ahead of the two V8 Commodores. The exit from BP now to the top, and Jim Richards already up there trying to pass some cars in the Nissan GTR. Across now to the top of the mountain, heading down towards Skyline. No incidents. Look at the lead so far as Niedzvitz blitzes them through there. Brock in second. Seaton is your next driver, followed by Longhurst. Then, of course, Greg Hansford and moving up smartly. Also, the second of the Dick Johnson car. So we've had a great start. We have. This was made in heaven for Klaus Niedzvitz, but poor Dick Johnson. I think uh, I don't think he gave it enough revs at the start. The car bogged down and he almost got hit from behind. Exactly. And Peter Brock was away very, very smartly. Come down to Forest Elbow for the first time. The wide open spaces of Conrad Strait. The exit from that turn, the Nissan still sitting in there behind Brancatelli, runs back behind the second Johnson car. So an incident free first lap. And as you said, Klaus needs fits at this stage of the race, heading down to the right hander at Caltex Chase. A comfortable lead over Peter Brock. Great shot there of the speed and the approach shot. Also the right-hander. Just watch them jockeying for positions as they go into the right-hander at Caltex. Somebody up there is looking after Klaus Niesbitz at the moment. This is an enormous lead that he's built up already on the on the first lap and really showing that uh, the top ten runoff that he, he just cleaned up really was no fluke. Bruce asked earlier this morning whether or not it was a good form guide yesterday. And I said maybe. That is a great form guide. Does Niesbitz have started? The fans think this is fabulous. They're watching Seven Sport following the coverage in the hair track side as well. And look at the Nissan. It's made up two places now since we last saw a shot of it. The Nissan is now up past Gianfranco Brancatelli and chasing after the second of the ANZ cars with Greg Hansford at the wheel. And there's Richards, the man we're following, the man on the move at the moment, zeroing in behind Dick Johnson as they head down Conrad Strait. Look at the speed of this car. Freddie Gibson's done a, a tremendous job with this car, and they've brought the uh, the boss of Nismo in Japan over, Mr. Hioki, to come and have a look at it. He's uh, he's amazed by it. He's up another spot already. Well, who would have thought after seeing Longhurst on uh, Wednesday and Thursday that he'd be taken by two cars down Conroy? They're in race trim today too, aren't they? Absolutely. Both uh, both Richards and Johnson taking him there, and this is just an absolutely glorious start for the Nissan. They couldn't have asked for any more than this. They've got themselves into the picture. We take our Nissan race camp, so you're riding with Jim Richards. Here he comes, making the move on Nick Johnson to the outside. The left-hander sits up here, but he won't pass. He'll try and get him on the inside as they go through this turn and now swing down the inside of the car. Johnson out on the ripple strip. It's Richards now grabbing another gear. Let's have a look at the horsepower. Has it got any horsepower? 600 brake, they claim, and Johnson gets the blow-by from Jimmy Richards. Richards now storming towards the leaders. The Nissan has just gone by Peter Brock in the Mobile One Sierra 05. Pete uh, continues that problem of locking a brake. We've noticed that in the early laps of uh, this race. But settling into almost conservative mode at the moment. The exit to BP cutting. Jeff Allen working away there in the 18 car. Pulls out of the draft. Out of the slipstream and alongside of Greg Hansford. And that's it. Looks like he's made the place there. So Jeff Allen moves up now and takes away sixth place from Greg Hansford. Bondi in position number eight at the moment, challenging Seaton for seventh place. And running in behind them, looks like Larry Perkins. Perkins, another of the movers in the Commodores. The Commodores... I believe really will come good towards the uh, towards the end of the race. Look at this fantastic view that we're bringing you our race cam team with the special camera. 
silhouette cam, we like to call it, as we hang it out the side of uh, the Colin Bond Caltech Sierra. He's chasing uh, Glenn Seaton at the moment, putting a lot of pressure on Glenn Seaton as they go across the top of the mountain. You'll see a great view here as they come up to Skyline on the concrete wall. How close would you like it? Drifting out here. Watch the movement of the front wheels. Now tucking into the left-hander. Seaton gives the Sierra a dab of the brakes. At the moment, though, Jim has spread eagle the field. He's opened the gap up to 32 and a half seconds. And no matter which way you look at it, that is a huge lead. Jimmy Richards, you're not hogging this race, are you? Well, Mike, we've, uh, we've got to do a few brake stops, so we've got to make a little bit of a buffer so that when we come in, we can keep the time on the track open. So Dick Johnson has two cars in the top five. Johnson currently second, and this car number 18 in fifth position. So great start for Shell after a pretty ordinary start at the beginning, beginning of the day when uh, Dick Johnson got left somewhat at the beginning when Klaus Niesvitz was away. So the number 18 car...